Thanks for spending just a minute thinking about God's truth with me today. Today we focus on the truth of Matthew 6.13. And as we near the end of Jesus' instruction on prayer here in Matthew 6, let's review. As we begin to pray, we focus on the person, the place, and the purity of the Lord. He's our Father. He's in heaven. He's holy. Then as we begin to ask God for things, we first ask him to prevail on this earth that his kingdom will come. We ask him for his purpose that his will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We ask him for his provision, that he might give us our daily bread. We ask him for his pardon, asking him to forgive us for our sins. And today we ask God for protection. Jesus teaches us to pray and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. It's time to start the clock and break it down. Jesus focuses our attention today on two basic truths. There are spiritual forces working to undermine our relationship with God. There is evil. Satan and his demonic forces operate with the goal of separating us completely from God. Satan wants to kill and destroy us by tempting us to sin against God. And the second truth Jesus draws us to today is that we in ourselves do not possess the strength necessary to resist evil. Jesus instructs us to ask God for help. Lord, please don't let me fall into temptation. Lord, please deliver me from evil. The implication being that on our own, this is a battle we will not win. We need God's strength. Jesus himself understands the devil's strategy perfectly. He himself was tempted in every way, and yet he never yielded. Jesus never sinned. Jesus instructs us to take evil seriously. We are told to address our vulnerability to evil by praying. The Lord stands ready to deliver any time we ask. This is Pastor Scott saying thanks for watching. If you want to talk to me, it's right here. If you want us to talk to God for you, visit ipray.world. You can also visit the church website, but be sure to like or share or follow or subscribe. Every time you promote these videos, you help somebody else spend just a minute thinking about God's truth. God bless you.